Now exposure is basically how you take your image. So exposure is measured in stops. So when you say it's one stop brighter, it means it's double the amount of light, hence it's two times brighter. So when you say it's one stop darker, it basically means half the amount of light. So for example, a 1 50th shutter speed is one stop slower or one stop brighter than a 1 100th second shutter speed. Now on most DSLRs by default, when you turn the dial one click, it is a one third of a stop adjustment. So basically it's safe to say when I turn the dial by three clicks, I am adjusting it by one stop. So one click will mean one third of a stop, two clicks will mean two thirds of a stop. So how do you apply the concept of exposure and stops in taking your images? So for example, I'm taking an image at 1 20th shutter speed, f4 and ISO 1600. Now I don't want that 1 20th of a shutter speed because um, I want a faster shutter speed so as to reduce my risk of motion blur. So let's say I want to make my shutter speed one stop faster. So that would be 1 40th of a second. However, if I take the image at 1 40th of a second while leaving this rest of the settings like so, the image would be too dark. In fact, it would be one stop underexposed. So what should I do? Well, so what I can do is I change my f4 aperture down to f2.8 so it's exactly one stop brighter to make up for that one stop lost caused by the shutter speed. So if I take the picture like so, I would get the same exposure as before. So as an alternative, I can also leave my aperture at f4 and I can still keep that 1 40th of a second shutter speed but I bump up my ISO by one stop. That would be from 1600 to 3200. So by doing so, I also keep the same exposure. 